Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to be connecting to a database and storing our posts in the database. So first things first is double check that you have a data, local database installed with Visual Studio. So type in SQL Server Object Explorer. So there it is. Bring that up and as long as you have this one, local MS SQL local DB, this is the one you need. So if you have this one, you're good and set to go. Otherwise, you want to open the Visual Studio installer and uh, uh, install the local database. But yeah, go ahead, add app settings.json to your project. Uh, make sure it's not in the controller, but rather in the root of your project. All right, and now let's let's add the default connection. So the server is this one. So grab that name, semicolon, nope, inside the text. All right. So this is the server. Now uh, the name of uh, the database, my blog. Uh, you want to set trusted connection to true and multiple active results is to true. Boom. All right, so now we have a connection. Let's make sure we can get the these settings in the startup file. So let's make a constructor. Make it public, otherwise uh, the program .cs, when it invokes the startup file, it won't be able to run it. And let's let's add i configuration. So config and config equals config. Make it ava make it available for the whole class. Okay, so good. Now we have uh, the app settings available in the startup file, and uh, basically i configuration is loaded in automatically in program.cs so i web host builder when it's when it basically during its build it automatically looks for this uh, app settings.json file and if it finds one it loads it in automatically and i configuration is how you bring it up so next thing is next is we want to add a folder let's call it data and inside that folder let's go ahead and create App DB context.cs. Uh, oh. We want to inherit from DB context. Big C though. Oop. Cool. And uh, let's make a property. That's a DB set. And of type post. And let's call this post. So this basically says is right. Uh, let's create a table, and each row in that table is equals to one post. Okay, so we have the AppDB context. Now we want to make it available to our program. So in our startup.cs, we're gonna go to services, add DB context, and let's add our DB context. And we want to pass some options to it. So we want to tell it what connection string to use. So use SQL server. So that's an SQL server we're using. And config default connection that which we get from here, right? So we're telling it we're using SQL server and we're with this connection string. So one thing is we're passing the options, now we want to receive them on this end. So uh, let's make a constructor, public one, right? And receive, uh, now we receive the options. So context option, db context options, there it is, of type up to db context options. And we want to pass it to the super class, or rather base option. Build. All right, there we go. So um, 
options are passed to this class. So this base right here, this just sends it to the original constructor here. So another thing we need to do is add an ID value to our posts. To do this, click on uh, the post object here, press F12. This will take us to our object. Um, type in prop. Let's keep it as an integer and give it a name of ID. Okay, so this ID value will allow the database to index our post object. Okay, now that that is done, uh, go ahead, click on the root of your project, press Alt Space, and let's go ahead and initialize the migration. So, I want to type in .NET if migrations add and Let's give it a name of init for initialization. So what migrations does is basically just says, right, we are making a change from nothing to now having this table with posts, right? So now that we have it, let's .NET, uh, yep, database update. So this is actually going to write these change th these migrations to the database. So while it's working, doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pop. All right, done. Let's check it. So refresh my block. All right, so there it is. Now let's go onto home controller and let's bring up our, our our database context and actually write something to the database. So let's make a constructor and using dependency dependency of injection uh, we want to bring up the context in here. So ctx ctx equals Dukes, all right. Uh, make a global variable, right? Cool. So now here is where we receive the post. If we remember it's working, so ctx, and now we can, in from the context, we can access the list of posts. This property that we created here, right? So all we do is just add a post, right? Um, and then we want to save changes asynchronous. All right, for this you will need to add async task. All right, and then just right away, what await does is it sends this command save changes to the database, and because our application isn't working, but rather the database is, it frees up the thread for other pro uh, for other actions to take advantage of the while the database is working here. So it kind of, the ex execution kind of goes, all right, receive post, add it here, send it to the database, and then maybe somebody else wanted to get the index page and it's kind of like, gives them back the index page, maybe the post, and then once this is ready, it's all right, right uh, I'm gonna carry on doing this. So that's what happens there. Now, uh, let's uh, run it and see what happens. Right. Let's go to edit. Test. 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 Let's submit it. All right. We're in the home page. So let's open this. Let's uh, go to my blog, tables, posts, and view data. Okay. So here it is. Actually, in the database. Right. Thank you for watching, and again, if you enjoy the series, give it a like, subscribe, and um, again, if you have any questions, leave me a comment, I'll be happy to answer it.